Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stabilize a cloned voice volume in 11 Labs. So let me show you my voices. I've actually cloned my own voice and also some, you know, characters. Let me come here under my voices, click on personal. So I've cloned, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog, Peter Griffin, SpongeBob. Let me show you how they sound, actually. Look at this. It's it takes a great reader to make a great book. My body is precious and... You see? And this is me. Look at this. So I'll come here and choose this one. They are ill discoverers that think there is no land. So and if you want to make this nothing but stable, come click on use. Okay. First of all, you want to use the most stable model, which is 11 multilingual V2. There are other ones here, which are about 50% cheaper in terms of tokens. They're not as stable. Use 11 multilingual V2 if uh, possible. And then stability, the more stable you make it, the more you slide it right here, it will be more stable. Okay. The voice, the volume, everything will be more stable. But it can end up sounding a little bit, uh, you know, monotone. So you want to put it a bit, maybe 75, 80%. You can go ahead and do that. Similarity, you want to make it at least 80%, especially for shorter text. Make sure a style exaggeration is at none. Okay. See here, it says higher values can lead to instability in the generated speech. Keep this setting to zero. It is the best. Speaker boost, you can keep this toggled on. Now you can just go ahead and generate the speech. There we go. Let's see what it will sound like. A cold wind howled through the abandoned subway station as James stepped. Caution. As you can see, it sounds just like me. And it's really that easy and simple.